Hey Bulldogs, Chris Bryant here. Got a new series of videos for you in the CCNP route and T-shoot and switch realms. So there's going to be something here for everybody. It's a new series of video pop quizzes. What I'm going to do here in just a few seconds is show you one practice exam question. We're going to take a look at that for a few seconds. You can certainly pause the video if you want to, to take a little more time to think about it. And then we're going to see the answers in action on live Cisco routers and switches. Even if you think you know the answer, even if you do know the answer, stick around because in the lab work, I'm always going to have a little bonus material in there while we're there. So the few minutes you invest in watching the video is definitely worth your time. Also, a good investment is the CCNP DVD series I've got going on. It's part of our seventh anniversary celebration out at TBA, and thank you for seven fantastic years. Let's go ahead and head for that question. Bingo. Which of these will result in a loss of adjacency? And this is the kind of thing we better know for the real world, too, because if we lose adjacencies at the wrong time, that is never going to be good. Changing the OSPF RID completely, it's an interesting way to put it, configuring a BGP router as a route reflector, removing a BGP router status as a route reflector, or none of the above. And I know if there's one phrase we all hate more than pop quiz, uh, it's choose all that apply, but they are good for us uh, in the end, just like spinach, I guess. So let's go ahead and head for the live equipment. And the first thing we're going to do is go ahead and change that OSPF RID. And we've got an adjacency that just came up. So let's see if we can keep it when we change the router ID here, the RID. And this is how we do it. There's no IP or OSPF in front of the actual command. It's just router ID. And I'm going to change it to uh, all sevens. And unbelievably, there are no options with that. But we do get a warning. It's one of my favorite warnings of all. Uh, you're either going to have to reload this or use the clear IP OSPF process command to take, make this take effect. That's why I said completely in the exam question, because we have not changed the RID yet. So obviously, if we reload the routers, we're going to be losing adjacencies. Let's see what happens with clear IP OSPF process. And here's the warning I was mentioning a moment ago. Reset all OSPF processes. First off, it's saying, do you want to reset them all in uppercase? And then I love the prompt. It's actually no. <laughs> you know, you don't want to do that. But here in the lab, of course, we're going to go ahead and say yes. So we've reset that. And as a result, we are going to lose our adjacency. It's going to go from full to down. So that will come back up in a few seconds. So going back to our exam question, Changing the OSPF rig completely obviously does result in a loss of adjacency. Now, how about the route reflector? If you're watching this in uh, actually early March 2012 when I'm recording it, uh, I did just put a YouTube video up, a uh, longer one about route reflectors you definitely want to catch. If you're watching it two years from now, come out to YouTube and watch it anyway. Let's bring the live equipment back up, and we're going to go up to router 1. And I'm going to configure router one as a route reflector. I already have some BGP adjacencies here with routers two and three. So I'm going to go ahead and configure router one as a route reflector. And what I do there, of course, is I don't I make routers two and three clients. In this case, I'm just going to make two a client. And it's always going to be neighbor first. And one of many choices here is route reflector client. That's what we want. And that's it. So we just did that, and you can see immediately the adjacency goes down right away. And note that it even tells you down RR client config change. So we changed that status. And let's see how quickly that's going to come back up comes back up pretty fast on us. It's an idle right now. But do notice that wording, down RR client config change. I do want to hang around here. It's already inactive, so just take a few seconds, because what we're going to do now is remove that status. And you can see that the neighbor relationship is indeed up. It had been up for one second right there. So now what happens if I remove that configuration? Am I going to lose it again? Well, I lost it a long time ago. But I mean, is the adjacency going to be lost? That's really the way I should put it. 
Let's just use Control A to move that cursor to the front. Type the word no. I do love that one. I'm not a big key keyboard shortcut guy, but I do love that one. And now what's going to happen? We're going to lose it again because notice the message again said RR client config change. So whether you're changing it to be a client or changing it to not be a client anymore, you're still going to lose the adjacency. So in this particular case, all three of these resulted in a loss of adjacency. It was temporary, but it was still a loss of adjacency. That's the kind of thing we want to be wary of well in advance of doing it in live equipment. Thanks for joining me for this route and T-Shoot pop quiz. Hope to see you out on Twitter, our YouTube channel, blog, and Facebook as well. And we've got some free NA and e CCNP ebooks coming out on Amazon in May 2012 as well. I'm Chris Bryant. Thanks for making TBA part of your Cisco certification success story.